Tamika Mosley here and I'm going to do a quick video on sickle cell disease and taking a flight flying in an airplane so I can remember years ago when I first met my husband and he has SC we actually flew to San Diego and during the flight I could already see that something was wrong and I didn't know at that time I had no clue about sickle cell about SC about herbs about anything I mean clueless but I could tell that he was getting sick and I didn't know in the beginning that it was because of sickle cell so once we landed he started throwing up and just felt sick and luckily I used to live in San Diego so we got off the plane I was able to drive him to the hospital and we sat there for hours and he continued to throw up uh, he ended up having to get fluids. Of course, he went into a crisis. He was having pain. So I can just remember all of that happening. Now, anytime someone with sickle cell disease go into a part of the world that has extreme high elevation, a person can actually go into a crisis. Or if you're in a if you're in a plane and you're extremely high up, a lot of times the oxygen inside the plane is not enough for a sickle cell person, so it can actually throw you into a crisis. But I'm gonna talk about uh, some natural things that you can do before, during, and after your flight, and your child will be completely okay. And I've done this several times with people with SS disease, and every single time it worked out perfect, they never had a crisis. So tip number one, the thing that I would do, if you know you're gonna take a flight, uh, two days before, I would start ramping up on the even flow and chlorophyll. So, say you're gonna fly out some uh, fly out somewhere on November 20th, on November the 18th, um, I would start giving instead of one even flow a day, I'll start giving three even flows a day. So, one in the morning, uh, one a few hours later, maybe four hours later, and then another one in the afternoon, uh, probably around. Uh, five or six uh, it really doesn't matter the time as long as you do three a day and spread it out perfectly perfectly fine uh, you can also do uh, two full droppers of liquid chlorophyll and on the 19th do the same thing and on the day that you are actually gonna fly out do two even flows but again if you're gonna fly out around 10 o'clock on that day in the morning We'll give an even flow at seven o'clock that morning and then give another even flow right before you board that plane now um, i would suggest during the flight make sure you drink plenty of fluids and during the flight go ahead and take one full dropper of chlorophyll and once you land as soon as you get off the plane go ahead and give another even flow and then later that night give one more even flow so that's, that's kind of like what I would do. And it's the same scenario as my kids are playing sports or if they're swimming or doing anything that's going to uh, overexert themselves. So a lot of times when my kids are swimming or playing or just overdoing it, I end up giving Aiden uh, approximately five to six even flows on that day. And the reason I'm saying to do it like this before the flight, during the flight, and after the flight because you wanna make sure that the body keep up producing red blood cells. Uh, the thing that happens is uh, when you're in the air or if your body's distressed and, and you can go into a crisis, the blood will start slowing down, getting sickle shape or getting stuck in the vessels. And that's what you wanna avoid. And the way to avoid that is taking lots of even flow and lots of chlorophyll. So if you just follow that regimen, your child will be perfectly fine. So thank you so much for watching the video today and until next time, let's get healthy for a healthier tomorrow.